Pisces, it is time for your reading for November of this year. It looks like some of y'all got a tower coming up. You're going to rebuild the new building with better foundation, restructures and stuff like that. Trying to get things going, right? The ultimate change coming in to sweep away what is unnecessary to your ultimate goal, right? Right. I'm starting to see the old wear and tear in my Rider weight deck. Ben's very funny. I'm noticing. It's not necessarily a bad thing, though. I don't know. But it's going to drive me nuts because I can see that it's not bent perfectly in the middle. And no matter how I bend it, it's never going to be like... Oh my god, that's going to drive me nuts because I know that's an optical illusion, but whatever. Anyway, it's time for your reading. Yay! So let's go ahead and get started with yours, Pisces. I hope y'all are doing well. You know, other than not being able to work some shit out. Like, that was quick. Anyway, <laughs> we are still doing personal readings. And when I say we, I mean me and my little bun in the oven who I call Skittle Squish. We are still doing readings. And I think we'll still do them until December, because that's when I'll be doing my whole Christmas stick and vacation or whatever. Oh, there's your card. You're feeling a little plagued, like you can't sleep very well. Oh, well, that's not good. Sometimes, Pisces, I think all you need in order to help you relieve stress is to get drunk and pass out in front of a church on a Saturday night and wake up on a Sunday ready to go inside. Sometimes I think you just need that kind of Jekyll and Hyde kind of vibe just to get you going, you know? Because I've known so many Pisces who have done that exact shit. <laughs> Never did understand you guys, but you always seemed interesting to me. Anyway, now Ambies, let's go on Pisces with yours. Let's lay these cards out. This must be a little bit of a martyr. Ooh. Beginning theme. The end. Quite dramatic. <laughs> okay, so like... Let's see. Someone's feeling a little bit like a spoiled king prince. Someone wants to have their way. Even if it means being meaner than what they should be when it comes to working on something. Something related to work, right? Because they want to be the teacher, but they're afraid of being a teacher, I think. And, like, like they are afraid of being a teacher. And I think it has something to do with, like, work or trying to work with somebody. Also, status or reputation as well. I mean, someone really isn't weighing their options out, and that's why they're coming off like the King of Wands reversed. Like, with that fire energy. They could possibly also be a Sagittarius Leo Aries. And... My juice is a general... Oh, ooh, excuse me. It's a general reading, so, like, if it doesn't hit you, if I don't hit the mark, like, no worries, I'll probably get you next time. It doesn't have to resonate with you. And it could be dealing with somebody you're dealing with, too. But there's some untruth that someone is hanging on to way too long. Like, they're at a crossroads with it, and now they're kind of, like, acting like a martyr, as I would say, with my top deck, looking like that Jesus Christ pose. Like, they aren't coming out with the truth. Like, like, something isn't coming out with the truth, right? Possibly about this fire sign, or his spouse. If it's someone's spouse, but someone isn't coming about about somebody who's poised very nicely and is very classy. Someone isn't saying something about that person. I feel like. And I guess they're trying to be... I don't understand the... Um, like, this is Taurus's card, right? I don't understand the whole like fearing the teaching or something or maybe there's something that you don't know because like his fingers are up too and he's got people underneath of him and they're all following him and I feel like someone's afraid of that 
Because the King of Wands is looking at him with envy. You know? Like, what are you afraid of him teaching you, dear Pisces? I wonder. Probably nothing big, but you know, you never know. Ooh. Oh, someone feeling left out in the cold in this still, yes. Is that what you're afraid of? <laughs> Having to teach somebody the hard way? Or being taught the hard way? No whammies. Okay, let's lay out the rest of these cards for clarification. This is odd. Ah! The devil! Look at that bondage! With, and you're trying to bring it to an end. The devil. This could also be with the Capricorn, but this talks about bondage. Um, and you're trying to find your out of the bondage and come to an end with it. Right? Pisces? My, my, my. So, like... This star... This possible Aquarius, right? Possible. This healing is not happening because of some untruth that's going around and someone is hung up on movement, I feel like. Like, someone is hell-bent on, like, this crossroads where they feel like they gotta move. Maybe they're finally moving from that position of feeling like, I've at the, been at this crossroads for so long, I want to get going, I want to get started on some stuff. Like, maybe someone's finally coming up with that scenario, right? And then we got like the King of Wands up here who is being who is coming out with this chariot. Um, being very forceful, very harsh, very strong with their words, but they're trying to gain balance. They're trying to secure themselves. They're getting ready for some battle. Like they're being very stern and harsh with their words because they're gearing up. They're trying to protect their own emotions because like they can't weigh out an option with this two of cups reverse this breakup like they might be coming very harshly because like something happened and they're just trying to protect themselves you know like look at that that's like the armor of god kind of shit right there's something glowing in the center maybe it's like archaic iron man i don't like yeah okay well that was kind of stupid but you know what i mean you know what i mean anyway then we got like this hierophant, this teacher, can't come to a decision. When it comes to working something out, something with work or some kind of working out with somebody because they feel like they missed an opportunity. Hmm. Curiouser and curiouser, I have to say. It seems like you're dealing with someone who really doesn't know how to um, move on from a situation that they might not have meant to manifest to be like bad side effects with the magician reverse. Like they may, like they possibly could, like if someone can't manifest whatever it is that they're trying to happen happen, it could be a chance because it's a side effect of something that happened before. Like they possibly manifested this way earlier in time and didn't realize this at an earlier point in events and now it's just coming back to where like nothing's getting changed because the side effect is still in a uh, play you know this thing is ha th like this has happened for a reason and you just haven't found the source of that reason yet i reckon that's that's the best way i can put it right there and it might take a while, but there actually is going to be something offered in this. Like, even with this kind of meanie up here, there's still going to be something that's going to get weighed out and offered. And he's looking to the right, so that's in the future, so you don't have to worry too much. And what you need to do right now is just stop worrying so much about this and this and take time to recover for yourself. Seems like you guys have been going through a lot, and it's been really crazy, so, like, I think you guys actually need a break. 
because you just kind of popped up. But uh, yeah, I think you guys need a break. Just like give your mind an ease, and I will see you guys later. Bye, Pisces.